My name is John Winthrop, and I'm here to discuss my book, The Principle of True Representation, Mind, Matter, and Geometry in a Self-Consistent Universe. In this book, I claim that the world exists and behaves as it does because it is truthfully self-representing. This is an algebraic formula, one that I call the law of laws. The law of laws is empirically testable. And if it passes the test of observation, then we can, beyond a reasonable doubt, claim that the physical world actually exists. I have a PhD in physics from the University of Michigan, 1966. At Michigan, I studied self-imaging fields, which later turned out to, to be very useful in the um, production of the ideas of this book. It's fairly easy to describe what's right in fundamental physics, uh, and this has to do with the truly he heroic work of the experimental community. And here I have in mind the uh, discovery of oscillation uh, between different flavors of neutrino on the one hand, and then uh, the discovery and observation of gravitational fields on the other. And both of these uh, findings have received Nobel Prizes, quite justly so. Things are not quite so rosy, I think, uh, on the theoretical side. And here I have in mind the various attempts to uh, construct theories of everything. These, in my opinion, have failed because they have not taken into account the crucial phenomenon of consciousness. The one thing that everything has in common is existence. And this suggests that if we're going to have a, f a theory of everything, then it should be a theory of existence. And that's precisely what the, the law of laws accomplishes. Out of this, we learn that there are four extra dimensions or new dimensions to be added to the four that we already know about. And from these new dimensions, we derive a number of new effects. It allows us to correct a number of serious errors of fact now being promoted by the scientific community. Uh, the first of these has to do with neutrinos. Uh, the discovery that neutrinos oscillate between the two or more flavors has led the uh, physicist to conclude that neutrinos must have mass. But this is false. Neutrinos are massless, just as the standard model of particle physics says that they are. The second problem is that using measurements of electrical currents in the brain, the neuroscientific community has uh, proclaimed that free will is an illusion. But free will is not an illusion, it is real. Uh, and in addition to uh, correcting these and uh, some other errors of fact, the, the law of laws, through the principle of true representation, allows us to discover quite a large number of other serious problems in fundamental physics today. The prevailing idea in science today is that everything is made of matter. This is known as philosophical materialism or uh, scientific naturalism. But this is clearly false because uh, physical laws, they are real, but nevertheless, they are not made of matter. So in fact, there do exist things over and above the, the physical world, namely the laws that govern its behavior. And there are theological implications of this as well, but uh, we'll leave those for another time.